In the 15th century, the Ospedale degli Innocenti was the first lay institution to dedicate itself exclusively to the care of children. 600 years and 12.8 million euros later, the new Museo degli Innocenti becomes Florence's latest important museum dedicated to the history of this institution and of childhood. The new museum replaces a smaller and much less elaborate exhibition space. A public tender was held in 2008 for the architecture of this new museum, which had to create a logical path for visitors over four levels and open up new doors onto the piazza in full respect of the original architecture by Brunelleschi. The museum begins on the basement level, which is dedicated to the history of the institution. The Innocenti opened its doors in 1445 to the first abandoned babies which were received through a window. At some point, we know that the baby was placed into a crib, which in turn was in between two statues of Mary and Joseph in adoration. The life of the Innocentini comes alive through video storytelling on screens and on tablets. In this room, we find objects left on abandoned children, mostly from the 19th century. When you can open these up, you have the name, the date, and the object left on the child. The visit continues with an exploration of the architectural spaces of the Innocenti, with its courtyards that represent a new visual language. We then move upstairs to a large room with the works commissioned for the institution, culminating in the recently restored altarpiece by Ghirlandaio of the Adoration of the Magi. The museum about childhood is also especially child-friendly, with tablets, seating, signage, and activities just for them.